Hello everyone, let me briefly tell you why ST is engaged in the domain of graphics. Firstly, there has been a big shift in users' expectations on how to interact with machines and embedded systems happening over several years. This move was driven by the very fast adoption of mobile devices such as mobile phones and tablets. But let me first show a real example. Let's think of a home appliance like washing machine that many people know and use on a daily basis, including myself. The UI has changed from simple mechanical buttons and knobs to large TFT displays with touch control allowing interactive animations and intuitive navigation. Therefore, to enable our customers in developing such a new modern user interfaces, ST is strongly engaged in graphics for embedded applications resulting in dedicated hardware within the STM32 portfolio that is supported by rich ecosystem. Let me be a bit more specific on the hardware support for graphics inside STM32 products. Several STM32 microcontrollers have accelerators dedicated to graphics, such as Chrome Art, accelerating advanced graphical operations, Chrome GRC, optimizing SRAM usage when driving grounded displays, and JPEG compression decompression operations hardware accelerator. Good examples of STM32s fitting very well into the graphical user interfaces applications are the recently released STM32H7A and H7B. They embed all mentioned accelerators and have a large amount of integrated internal SRAM memory on top. This allows application architecture without the need for external SRAM for two graphical frame buffers, up to wide QVGA or half VGA with even 24 bits per pixel resolutions. Now, so what about the important ecosystem that I mentioned before? A good product is not enough today. You need to provide an excellent and seamless ecosystem around the product in order to enable embedded application developers to be fast and efficient in evaluation and development with minimum resources investment. From ST side, we do provide all necessary blocks to do that. The TouchGFX ecosystem is bringing a free of charge complete development framework for modern graphical UIs, all running on cost-effective general-purpose MCUs, such as STM32 family. And that's not all. There is a wide network of partners, graphical solutions, which are adapted to the STM32 family too. And this extent ecosystem offer is providing our customers with the greatest flexibility in finding the most fitting solution for their use cases. Now, let me highlight some of the hot news from the ecosystem. We have released in beginning of 2020 a new expansion package dedicated for graphics, the Xcube TouchGFX. I'm very excited about it. It contains three main blocks. The designer tool, which is a Windows program supporting you in creating the visual appearances of the UI in a simple way. Second, the TouchGFX engine, which is the software library itself handling the optimized rendering that is running on the embedded hardware. And finally, the new TouchGFX generator that provides a smooth generation of the TouchGFX project, eliminating any pitfalls in the initial phase. It ensures seamless interoperability with STM32 CubeMX tool for complete project configuration along the whole development flow, including a bridge to IDE of choice. Overall, TouchGFX software structure keeps the developer in control making him capable of replicating the look and feel created by the graphic art and design people. And there is a recent webinar available on demand for all of you, in which we are explaining in more detail this new Xcube TouchGFX expansion package, all including practical hands-on demonstrations. Finally, let's have a look at these latest boards that are just behind me. Here we have a very cool collection of graphical implementations running on several different STM32 lines like STM32L4+, STM32H7 value line, and the new STM32H7B. As we can see, there are different graphical solutions running on these boards. These are based either on ST TouchGFX or partner graphical stacks, such as Embedded Wizard, Crank, and Qt. All of them adapted their solutions to the most popular Cortex-M-based MCU family in the world, the STM32, including the latest STM32H7A and STM32H7B. Thank you for watching and don't hesitate to contact ST teams or our partners to help you in bringing your embedded application UIs to the new dimension of user experience.